this time, I'm gonna put the words that it sounds like in English. Bone. Numb. Numb. Now, let's go over it all over again. Ready? Number one. Moat. Moat. Number two. High. There once lived a princess in a very far, far land. We don't really know where she lived. But she did live in a castle. And it was huge. It had this giant front door that was like a drawbridge. And the outside was surrounded by a moat. If you forgot what a moat was, a moat is kind of like when you go to the beach and you build a sand castle and there's that water on the outside and then it's the moat. So she lived there, but she lived there all by herself. So since she was by herself, she always got really sad and lonely. She didn't have siblings or friends. One day, there was this prince who heard of a princess that was stuck in a castle. So he decided, I'm going to go visit her and I want to be her friend because no one likes having friends that are sad. So he said, hi. And she responded, 
high back. The prince had to think of a way to get the princess or just like give her a little gift. So he thought, hmm, maybe I should give her three sheep. And as he thought about this, he thought about all the sheep and all their three baths. He was like, he wondered if she would like it, but he decided it's better than nothing. It's the first time he's ever going to see her, so he had to give her something. It was a present for his new friend. The prince had arrived to the castle. And to his surprise, the magical giant drawbridge was let down so that people can cross over the moat and visit the princess. The prince thought, wow, she must have known he was coming so soon and let the drawbridge down. Good thing he had his three sheep behind him. And he, just, and he wanted to walk across the bridge finally meet his new friend, the princess. But to his surprise, there was a guard dog. And the guard dog's job was to protect the princess from all intruders. He was scary and he roughed at anyone that wanted to pass. The prince didn't know about the guard dog. Oh no, he said, what am I to do now? So, oh, he had an idea. He was like, wait, I have a bone. With the gift that he was given, he can make the guard dog happy and gain trust so that he knows that the prince is not here to do anything that's dangerous. He just wants to visit the princess and be friends. So, he gave the bone to the dog, and the dog said, BONE! The dog was so happy that he allowed the prince and his three sheep behind him to cross the bridge to enter the castle and meet the princess. All three of his sheep, and as he walked across, they all went, bah, bah. After the prince gave the bone and was allowed across the bridge with his three sheep, the princess was there greeting him in the castle. She was waiting for him this whole time because she wanted to make some new friends. Once the prince and the princess were inside, they exchanged smiles since they were so happy to have a new friend. The princess has stated that she made some cookies for them. Can you guess what type of cookies they were? That's right, they're chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, chocolate chip cookies are so yummy. She invited the prince and said, have some cookies. And to that he responded, 
Yay! The prince and princess gobbled down all the chocolate chip cookies. Nom 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 nom. It was delicious. Thank you. The prince had saw the clock, and it was getting very late. He was worried, oh no, would it be time for me to go? It's late. And with that, the princess was very sad, for he was leaving. But she said, okay, come back soon. Of course, they were both sad because they had just became friends and ate cookies together. But the prince said, of course, let's hang out another time. With a smile on her face, the princess said goodbye. The end.